Hi coders, I'm Matt Landers with Covalence and in this lecture we're going to talk about how to use TypeScript with React Router. Now it's a little bit tricky but we're going to go through all the details and when we're done hopefully you'll understand how to use it, why to use it, and how it works. So I'm starting from the basic starter template that we have for TypeScript Express React. Uh, links in the activity or in the video and you can start from there as well. Uh, so it's a really basic app right now. We just have a hello world here uh, coming up. This is the template you'll start from. And uh, we're going to add in two components and do routing between them. So let's do it. All right, so the first thing that we need to do is create a component. And we're going to create it one called list. And this is just going to list out some names. And when we click a name, it's going to go to another component that's going to say hi to that person. Uh, it's just a quick example for us to show how all of this works together. So let's import React from React. It's creating a new component here. So this is good practice. Export default uh, list and it extends react.component. Not children. Yep. And also spelled extend oh, default class forgot everything there all right and now we want to create our interfaces so interface I list props so this is for our properties on our component and interface I list state now we're gonna have a list of names so let's just go ahead and define that it'll be array of strings and we'll put those on our state right, we don't want to have to pass them in from the other component, we'll just make this a self-contained component. Uh, so we'll put I list props here and I list state here. All right, now we need our constructor. Rep props in. We give it our I list props. Call super uh, props. And now we need to declare our state. So state is going to have names in it. And it's an array of names. So I'm just going to put Matt, uh, Luke, uh, Will, Jackson. So we'll just have a few names that pop up here. And now we just need to render this out. So let's go ahead and do that. return a let's do a ul with a class on it oops easier if we just do ul dot list group and then we'll map our state so this dot state dot names dot map and we'll map that to some li's And they'll have list group item on. And we will just put name in here. Pretty, pretty simple. All right, so let's save this and go import it in our app and show it here just to make sure it's working real quick. Call it list. And then TypeScript will be able to import this for us. So we just click here and say import. And then we see that it imported it from the right place. We'll save that and go back to our code and make sure it's working. There it is, we have our list of names now. All right, so now we wanna turn these into links and then go somewhere where it just says hi to that person. And then that'll show us how to pass parameters from one route to another and then how we type that with TypeScript as well. So let's create the, uh, we'll go ahead and bring in React Router and all of that, so let's do it. So we're gonna npm install react-router um, react-router-dom and we're going to bring in the types for that too so react-router-dom and so you bring the types with the at type slash in case you can remember and you, it's usually the name of whatever the component is uh, a lot of components these days are coming with typings already on the component so you won't have to install the types but usually if you just try it, you'll find out. You get a 404 if it doesn't exist, so no big deal. 
All right, so we, we got those installed. Now on our list, we need to have a link here. So let's go ahead and do that first. So we'll import link from react-router-dom. And then we'll just put that here. Name inside the link. Then we have two. We get that IntelliSense now. And we're going to need to do a template string here. So let's do slash uh, and then bring in the name. So our link is just going to be slash name, whatever that is. So that should be fine. Let's go ahead and save this and make sure those links get created. Oh, we got a little problem here. You should not use link outside a router. Okay, yeah, we haven't put the router in yet, so let's start there. All right, so what we need to do is import the browser router. So we're gonna say import browser router as router. We're just renaming the router. Uh, and then we're also going to bring in switch uh, from React Router DOM. Okay, now when we come down here, we want to use a router now. So let's do it here. And then we need a switch inside of this because the router can only have one component in it. But this isn't to necessarily teach you React Router, it's just how to do it with TypeScript. All right, so the first route that we're gonna have, yeah, we need to bring in route as well. So let's go up here, bring in route. We got switch and now we're gonna have a route. So our route is gonna be an exact path slash and then the component is going to be list. All right, now we should be able to see those links. Let's just save that, let it compile, come over, refresh, and there we go. Now we have links, but when we go to them, nothing's there because we don't have that route set up yet. So now this is where it starts to get interesting with the uh, typings. So let's go ahead and create a detail component and we'll just got to create this from scratch so good practice again import react I could copy this but I think that uh, it's good for you to see it export default class detail extends react.component create our interfaces this one will get interesting but I'm going to leave it off for now and just let you see. All right. So I'm going to put that up here. And create our constructor. So many things we have to do. Okay, now what we want to do is say that on our state we want to have a name, right? Because we're going to pass in a name. Um, so what we can do is we want to set that here whenever it comes in. Now, right now, if we try to do this, if you know anything about React Router, it should be on this dot props dot match dot params dot name, right? But match doesn't exist. So what's going on here? Well, we need to bring in um, a type from React Router DOM. So let me show you that. And this type, we're going to extend our properties with it, our interface for our properties. So we're going to say route component props. And then down here on our interface, we want to say that it extends route component props. Now, we have another place right here where we got to put a generic. So what we're passing in is the name and it's a string. So we just needed to define that right here. And we just say that we're going to pass in a name and it's a string. And by the way, these all have to be strings. So even if you have an ID that's coming in, you have to just have it as a string because the route component props require it just to be an object with strings in it. 
uh, then you can convert it on the other side if you need to. Uh, but it'll always be a string. So we're going to pass in a name with a string. Now watch what happens that we did that. When I come here and I say this.props.match.params.name, look, I'm getting all that IntelliSense and everything is here. So what I can do is say this.state equals and now we have our state and we can render render this out so let's go ahead and do that uh, render and we'll return just an h1 with <clears throat> this dot state dot name and that should work for us now we don't have a way to get back we'll just use our back button this is a very simple demo uh, all right, so now we, we need to go add that route. And then we'll go back over this so that you can kind of understand what's happening. So here we have the route. The path is slash colon name to say that we have a parameter that's going to come in. And then our component is our detail component. And that's not in here right now, as you can see. So we want to go ahead and import that. And then it pulls it in here and we should be good now so let's save this and go back and run and we ran and nothing is showing up let's try that again there we go so now it's showing Matt everything is working like we expected so it's passing that parameter in if you look at the URL in the bottom it's really small if you're on a desktop you might be able to see it when I'm hovering over it but it's showing you what the URL is. And I can actually type in any URL here. Um, all right, well, my server is not set up for that, but you could, trust me. I actually can fix that real quick if you wanna see it. I'll probably add this to the template, but. Problem is that we're only serving the index by default. And we want to do response send file on anything. Uh, anytime the server receives a URL it doesn't know, we want it to show the index and let React decide if it's not a valid URL or not. Um, This should fix that little issue that we had there. Back over, run it. Now I should be able to put anything over here and now it's working. All right, cool. So this is working. We're passing in through React Router uh, and getting our, you know, our typings with TypeScript as well. So let's just re-look at everything that we had to do here. First thing we did is we just did our normal things. This isn't any different than what you've done with React Out Router in the past. This part looks pretty much exactly the same, right? I mean, you're just using React Router like you always would. Where it gets a little bit tricky is whenever you have uh, components that are being routed to and you need to pull something out of it or you need to access the history. So like if we wanted to navigate from here, I uh, you know we could do this.props.history.whatever, you know, location, um, go back, whatnot. All of this is here for you. All this IntelliSense is here that you wouldn't normally get in a project that didn't have TypeScript. Uh, so now I don't even have to look that up in the documentation. I can just start typing dot and see what everything is. I don't have to completely remember everything. Um, but that's just there for us. And the reason that it's there for us is that we did this. So we extended our property interface, our props interface, with route component props, which comes from the React Router DOM. And then in the generic, we say, hey, what parameters are going to be passed in uh, whenever this uh, we route to this component? Now, if you just wanted history and all of that, you wouldn't have to put anything here if you didn't, if you weren't passing parameters, right? This could be out, but we need these parameters uh, in this case because of the name. But if you were routing to a component that it was just a straight, you know, like an about page or something, uh, but you wanted to get the history and have a way to go back or something like that, you would need to still extend the route component props. You just wouldn't have to define this generic because you're not passing any parameters in. All right, so that's the basics of how to use a React router. There's going to be a couple more lectures on 
how to use TypeScript with React. And I look forward to teaching you a little more. So happy coding.